Hello. Today, I'm here to talk to you about the founding legend of Rome. Rome eventually grew to be one of the largest and most powerful empires the world had ever seen, but it started off as a small kingdom on the Tiber River. The legend goes that after the Trojan War, the Trojan prince Aeneas came to Italy with a band of survivors. They made their way to the kingdom of Lavinium, where Aeneas married Lavinia, the daughter of King Latinus. This started a series of skirmishes with a man named Turnus, who was formerly engaged to the princess. These conflicts eventually culminated in all-out war between the two men. Aeneas eventually won and secured the right of the Trojans to settle in Italy. Aeneas' child, named Ascanius, went on to found the kingdom of Alba Longa. A long, long way down the line, a man named Numitor became king of Alba Longa, but was deposed by his brother Amulius. He forced Numitor's daughter, Rhea Silvia, to become a Vestal Virgin, or a kind of priestess. Enter Romulus and Remus. Said to be the sons of Rhea and Hercules, they were supposedly born around 770 BC. They were abandoned and left to die as children due to a prophecy in which they would overthrow Amulius. They were said to have been abandoned in a cave near the Tiber River, where they were raised by a wolf that acted as their mother. Eventually, a shepherd named Fastulius found the boys and adopted them. When the boys grew up, they led a rebellion where they killed Amulius and restored Numitor as king of Alba Longa. They were granted the right to found their own city, which they chose to do along the Tiber, where they had been abandoned so long ago. After founding the city, Romulus and Remus argued over who would rule it. One legend goes that Romulus wanted to found the city on the Palatine Hill, while Remus preferred to found the city on the Aventine Hill. As they sat on their respective hills, six eagles flew to Remus, and soon after, twelve eagles flew to Romulus. Remus claimed precedence of arrival, and Romulus precedence of numbers. This led to a fight between the two brothers, in which Romulus killed Remus and founded the city of Rome on the Palatine Hill in 753 BC. Romulus is credited with the establishment of the legions, the implementation of the phalanx, and the majority of Roman wartime custom. He would rule Rome until his mysterious disappearance in 717 BC, where he would be succeeded by a man named Numa Pompilius. If you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on new videos and new content. Thank you.